what are the challenges when you are bahut sare schools ke what are the challenges that you are facing early childhood education it is a compulsory pehle jo compulsory nahi tha first time early childhood education ko as a part of education system is free primary education we were running in schools but it was not a compulsory part now even the government schools will have it as a compulsion we will have it in our uh, uh, schools we have expert advice namaskar last year 2019 i was in america for a camp of 150 students we had students from kashmir to kerala and the gujarat to bangla most of them took birth in america and none of them know their mother tongue and that was one of the complaint most of the parents had they were all age young one up to 15 years young children up to 15 years so my challenge was one of the requirement was how do you teach them to read and write <coughs> sunday was the parents meet i said thursday wednesday evening i am going to get the press report i will have a white board in which i will give some dictation that will be your name parents name native name where are you from at least this much they should learn in 3 days this parents had a complaint for last 10 years we are trying to teach them they couldn't learn i taught it in 3 days it was very simple every child has got a brain just now she was mentioning up to 6 years up to 6 years a child can learn 6000 words up to 12 years they can learn 12000 words up to 18 years if they can learn 24000 words i speak all the south indian languages it's very simple to learn tamil is very simple because you don't have ka kha ga kha it's only one ka hmm. so kachada tapa if you know multiplied by 4 you know the language it is not to teach a a e e ka kha ga kha a b c d teach them words they will learn alphabets when children are in the college level they had a problem in their mistakes in writing and different languages to learn including me how did i learn different languages is newspaper reading translate into different languages so both language becomes easier for them so translation is one of the method to add it is not four skills reading and writing reading is also a listening when you read in childhood you read louder so you are listening so reading writing includes listening third whole world education don't see that only in india arithmetic is important so reading writing reading writing means comprehension don't think writing is alphabetic a b c d whatever i spoke today if you can make a note out of it and then make a comprehension comprehension is listening is there and then rewrite in your own words that means there is a logical reasoning and then you are able to pick up so two capabilities when you grow note taking and note making two abilities are required in education note taking and note making both are not happening in the schools because teachers give notes don't give ask them to take there is lot of difference so the basic education learning to write is to take notes right and to add five fold development is academics physical emotional intellectual social and spiritual all these five fold development is what is to happen in education i am a psychotherapist so if you want to understand people you should know their emotional feeling so as a young baby in early childhood they have parents going around and giving whatever they want when they get into academics schools they start fighting <laughs> and that is a emotional balancing so the control happens at the emotional level in schools so how do you make sure that they get a better emotional not same age peer group doesn't mean same age little of age 
Therefore, including the traditional knowledge and the new education policy, there is nothing different. It's one and the same. There is traditional knowledge system and new education policy. There is nothing different. It's all one and the same. So there is a program which says up to third grade you should have a informal education. Though it says age 3 you should start, age 3 to grade 3, 6 years of learning is totally informal. Actually that is true. We keep seeing LKG, bracket CBSE. It's so stupid are we not fooling the whole world by saying that because CBSE itself means central board of and which age it starts? It starts in ninth class. So up to 8th class, it is up to you, the principals and the teachers and the management to decide how do you want to do it. And NCRT books are only cover change, which all comes from printers. Actually, it is not education policy. So you decide. So I have a beautiful program. You look at Grandma Child Care Center. That's my brand which I started 10 years back. The program is called the Grandma Child Care Center. Grandmother's Child Care Center. So, school is open for age 3 to grade 3. One single hall, only playing items and lot of crafts. And in the craft, who can involve? There has to be mothers who are volunteers who can come and spend the time in the class with the children. The grandparents can come and spend the time with their children. They can teach much better than most of the untrained teachers. So make your classroom open for parents to come, grandparents to come, volunteers to come. If anybody wants to do this, I will be one volunteer. Come and stay in your campus for one month to show that how does it work. And you can have beautiful place and I have made it in Kerala. All cushions of one and a half inch where children will love to jump like this. No furnitures, different color so that it looks so beautiful. And generally, when children come for KG nursery, they cry. I will show you how to create a beautiful classroom where children don't cry. How I have done it? Entry itself, I kept a beautiful camera and a big projector which projects them. No children like to see them crying themselves. You understood? You keep a camera there, you show a mirror and they will immediately stop. They must be crying. They will smile. <laughs> and all parents will love it. Definitely. Understood? Mm. This is how small tricks can make a lot of difference in the classroom stay. And we say, Acharyat Padamadate. From the teachers, you can earn only 25 percentage. Acharyat Padamadate. Padam Shishya Somayataya. Children have to learn themselves 25 percentage. Padamsa Brahmacharibhya with the group they have to learn. So how do you patch up learning each other? Make small groups and ask them to teach. So young one will teach elder one, elder one will teach young one and they will have, when the elders teach the younger one, both will learn much faster. And I will tell you, we call so much of nursery rhymes, which is the best famous nursery rhyme? Who? Tingle tingle. You tell me who wrote this tingle tingle. <laughs> Nobody knows. So the teacher also knows only tingle tingle. The student also knows only tingle tingle, not extra. Teacher should have little more knowledge. Ask this question. Where is London Bridge? Yeah, this is what the problem is. Look at Dr. TPS London Bridge. I have given a video on that. It is not in London, it is in America. Because it says London Bridge is falling down. It is present tense, present continuous. So that time when it was writing, it was falling down. Before falling it down, America purchased it and then it is in Arizona. Yeah. See, people, yeah. teachers don't even think about it. And how can you call yourself a family teacher? So even if you are a KG teacher, your knowledge has to be a little higher. Right? Then it becomes easier. And how do I teach? Assume that I have to teach in Kerala, tingle tingle little stuff. What do I do is I translate. 
மின்னும் மின்னும் தாரகமே எந்தல் புதமான இதிர்ஷ்யம் மீதே மீதே மானத்து வைடுரியம் போல் மின்னும் And children understand the meaning. Understanding is different from learning. When you learn, it be in your brain. No. It be in your heart. So don't tell them, don't learn by heart. Tell them, learn by heart. There is a difference. Don't learn by heart, but learn by heart. Heart means you have a passion, you have effective learning and effective learning. It can be done so easily. So it's not a great job to teach A, B, C, D and handwriting is must. Handwriting has to be good, writing is good, reading is good, arithmetic is good and fourth one, most important than all this, memorizing. Don't say that education has got this method of memorizing. Repeatedly telling and memorizing, otherwise you cannot learn history. Is it possible without memorizing? Do I chant this sloka without memorizing? Hey, tell me how many times I must have read this. I have got memorizing methods. All the time what I do is I keep lot of slokas written and then put it with me. And that is what I am using. Don't think that Dr. TPS can learn without memorizing. All these are sloka bits. So what do I do? I write these sloka bits. You all will have money in your purse but I have got only slokas written like yeah. In the aircraft, what I do is a free time is used, I learn like this. So, this is what is to be done. All these are slokas written, small, small bits and pieces. So, don't think that it is easy for you. You have to memorize. Memorization is part of education. So, you have to repeat many times. But how do you check whether this is memorized or not? I will tell you in 9th class. Or 11th class biology, botany, technical terms of all the botanical names, learning is a big problem for children. But what do I do? I make them to write, sit in a circle and then make them to repeat many times. Three times when they repeat finished, they learn. You want to memorize the names of all the Prime Ministers of India? Memorize. Prime Ministers of India, Dr. TPS, you can see a song. You want to memorize all the Chemistry, all the periodic table names, you have to memorize. How do you do that? There are a lot of nursery rhymes available. So, tricks are part of memorizing. This can be used in any classroom from childhood to higher age. Okay? Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So, thank you so much. It was a really amazing conversation. Sir, it's a great deal. And amazing panel discussion it was.